Hey guys, in this video I'm going to explain how you can fly slash sort of rocket jump in Borderlands 3. Uh, this does require to be on PC because you are emo cancelling a reload of a weapon. So, sorry console. Uh, the gear you're going to need is you're going to need a pestilence. Right? Rubies, uh, and then some form of rocket jump. Now you can rocket jump with a pestilence, but you need a red suit for that. Or you can use a ruby trav and a web slinger and then use a transformer with those guys. Um, how we do this is we create a queue of explosions and what we're going to be doing is create a queue of explosions that don't knock us and then a queue of explosions that do knock us after that. Now explosions sort of have a tick rate so this is why we can create um, this queue and we just have to create explosions faster than the tick rate. This tick rate is based off your frames per second. Um, now how we create explosions that don't knock us is we use the pestilence and a ceiling. So right here is a ceiling. And if I get my pestilence out, I can emote cancel to create explosions. But you need to be faster than the tick rate. Now how can you be faster than the tick rate for explosions? Well, you can change the tick rate by changing your FPS. So if I go into my options and change my FPS to 15, this is the slowest it can be. Um, this, we can then spam my emote buttons as fast as we can. So, um, if I get the person out, spam the emote button as fast as I can. When I fire my Ruby Trap, the explosion doesn't happen straight away because it's still doing those pestilence explosions. And once it eventually gets done with those pestilence explosions, it will explode. Now, if you want to do this properly, you're going to want to create your explosion in your low FPS and then change the high FPS so all the explosions can stack up on each other very quickly and easily. So we do this again. And then fire a couple shots. Change to high FPS. Go max. You can see how you get a more violent push. Now, another way to beat the tick rate for the explosions is to just be faster than it. And you can be faster than it by using a macro or emotes bound to scroll wheel. So I'm going to show you how emote bound to scroll wheel can work. Um, I literally turn my mouse upside down and roll my scroll wheel along my mouse pad like so. And you can emote really, really quickly. Now, once you've done that, you can then stack up a bunch of explosions yourself. And you don't have to worry about changing the FPS. Now you can do this with pestilence, but if you want to do it with the pestilence, you're going to have to wear a red suit because the explosion will kill you. Um, so yeah, bear that in mind. Um, then, past that, you can control roughly um, what happens in the air. So the explosion, it's how the explosion happens originally would happen. So if I create explosions here, once I've um, stacked up, um, and then walk away, I still get hit by those explosions, regardless, and in the same direction, always the same. So we're going to stack up our pestilence, and now I'm going to fire a couple ruby shots this way. Oh, I didn't stack up enough. I'm going to stack up more. So with the lower frame rates, you can stack it up faster and easier. So let's stack up a bit this way. So I normally get pushed behindwards and then stack up this way. So then I should get pushed that way and then back this way. And you can use anything that would push you up in the air. Anything that does um, will work for this. And yeah, that's how you can rocket jump in or rocket slash fly in this game. Hope you guys have fun with it and see you around. Bye.